Hey everyone, uh, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use your handshake names. Uh, just for some quick background before we get started, uh, handshake names are top-level domains, uh, which is a fancy way of saying domain extensions. Uh, so for example, .org or .com, these are probably domain extensions that you're already familiar with, uh, but the proper term for those is top-level domain. And so handshake names are top-level domains that anybody can own. So for example, uh, I own the Johnny Wu handshake name, which means I own the .Johnny Wu domain extension. And so uh, I can now set up any kind of website or anything on that .Johnny Wu domain extension. So this is my homepage at home.johnnywu. You can also visit linkedin.johnnywu, uh, which you'll be redirected to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, but the coolest part that I love about Handshake is that uh, I can have .less domains now. So for example, I can have a handshake uh, I can have a website that just lives on Johnny Wu. There's no dots or anything, it's just Johnny Wu. So uh, here's how you do that. So to get started, you need a handshake name on Namebase. Um, if you don't have one yet, uh, I have separate videos, tons of tutorials to get started with doing so. Um, but once you do have a handshake name, you'll want to scroll over use cases and select D-Links. So let's create a new D-Link. I also own the name Namer Community. We'll set this up at dlink.namercommunity. Uh, name base logo, namer community. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, home. I have our landing page memorized, and we'll go black. Cool. While this is generating for some context here, uh, this website. Uh, is going to live on Skynet, which is a blockchain, a decentralized blockchain uh, file storage service. Uh, but it will be accessible via your handshake name. So you'll use uh, your handshake name, which is also decentralized, to visit your website that lives on the decentralized uh, Skynet blockchain. So the entire stack is fully decentralized. Uh, just like that, no code solution for a fully decentralized uh, website. Cool. So um, let's visit what we just set up, dlink.namer community. And it resolves. Cool. So redirects. Uh, this is what LinkedIn.JohnnyWu was. That was a redirect. We'll go to a namer community. This time I'll have the dotless domain namer community uh, to redirect to uh, our landing page. Cool. Um, redirects are nice because you can use these uh, as uh, a URL shortener. So um, this right here is a Google spreadsheet, which is just a ridiculous URL that no uh, human is ever going to memorize. Well, maybe maybe some crazy ones. Uh, but uh, you can uh, turn this insane URL into a human readable one with uh, the redirects. Uh, so if you're already familiar with a service like Bitly, uh, this is basically just Bitly supercharged. Uh, because you don't need bit.ly slash and then uh, some name to uh, do the URL shortening. Uh, you can just have uh, any name redirect to any URL. So name or community redirects to community.namebase.io. Bam. Those are our community landing page. Um, so one more uh, use case that I want to uh, showcase, um, which we actually just launched recently, is name or news. So this is just a uh, regular forum. There's nothing special about this forum at all. Uh, we use uh, some open source code to put this together. Um, but this forum was built to highlight uh, one use case uh, is handshake logins. So I'm going to use jwoo for this. jwoo is another handshake name that I own. And I'm now logged into Namer News as jwoo. So uh, every username, username you see here, uh, is actually just somebody's handshake name that they use to uh, log in to the forum. Um, and okay, so there is one special uh, tweak to this forum um, is that it uh, it will detect whether or not your handshake name resolves, um, which is a fancy way of saying uh, does it do something. All right. So for example, Tieshun's name is yellow, uh, and that's because if you visit Tieshun, uh, there's something set up on it, which is his dealing. Uh, but in my case, uh, my name is not in yellow uh, because there's nothing set up on jwoo, uh, so it, it just can't be reached. Um, there are some additional use cases, uh, and if you're a confident developer, uh, by the way, uh, you'll want to scroll over use cases and view more. If you've created your own uh, handshake use case, then you can just submit it right here, and it will be highlighted uh, right here. Yeah, so for example, um, Nomad is another use case. It's another social networking uh, site that you can also uh, sign into with your handshake name. Cool. 
Um, so if you're part if you're the pro proactive uh, listener, then you probably already tried searching for something like Johnny uh, LinkedIn Johnny Wu or Home Johnny Wu during this video, and you'll probably realize that uh, you're not uh, reaching this page. Um, it doesn't actually take you anywhere, and that's because handshake names live on the handshake blockchain, uh, which most browsers don't know how to actually access. So you have to tweak it or do something to tell your browser how to actually get there. Uh, and so the uh, quickest way to do so is probably HNS.2. This is a gateway um, or a workaround. This allows anybody who uh, isn't set up to resolve handshake names yet to uh, reach a handshake website. So for example, home.johnnywoo, you can try this if you're not set up on a handshake yet, and you'll still be able to access my handshake page. Um, but you'll just notice that the URL uh, is a, the HNS.2 is appended to your handshake domain. Right, so kind of like uh, the same behavior as using bit.ly, uh, you can do HNS.2 slash and then any handshake name, uh, and it will just uh, take care of that for you. But of course, uh, the beauty of handshake names is that uh, it's it's very pretty. Uh, there's no um, HNS.2 is a little ugly to add on. Um, and you'll notice that I've been just visiting home.johnnywoo with no problem. How did I do that? Uh, that is something called HDNS.io. This is a Handshake public resolver. Um, you can read about this. There are instructions how to set up here, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you'll just need to uh, point your DNS uh, you know, point your DNS servers to these DNS addresses. So you can even set this up on your router, uh, after which um, any device connected to the router will just automatically resolve handshake names for you. Um, but uh, I'm on Mac, uh, and I'll just uh, show you how I do this on Mac. So in settings, network, advanced, DNS, and here are my uh, DNS um, addresses, right? So uh, these match up. Uh, if you have any other DNS uh, uh, addresses here, then you'll just want to delete those um, and replace them with these. Your normal websites will still work, right? I'm visiting Google just fine. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, I've now expanded the number of websites I can visit to uh, all the handshake namespace. Um, for some uh, background, uh, in the traditional uh, net, there's only around 1,500 top level domains. So .com, .org, .net, add all of those up. It's about 1,500 of those. Uh, handshake names, we're about a year from launch now, and there's 600,000. So you're really just expanding uh, the web that you can have access to. Cool. Um, one final shout out I'd like to give is to a community member. Um, they built a Puma browser. Uh, this is a mobile browser. Uh, if you download this, then uh, you don't you, you don't have to do anything that I just talked about. Uh, you have Puma browser, then you're just already resolving Handshake out the box. So uh, you can just search uh, any Handshake domain uh, without the HNS.2 or the DNS uh, addresses, and you'll just be resolving Handshake. Oh, well, that about covers it for uh, Handshake use cases, uh, how to actually hands access Handshake names. Um, just for some final background, uh, Handshake is an entirely community-run effort. Right? Nobody controls Handshake, Handshake nobody owns Handshake. Uh, even Namebase, we're, uh, we're just community members uh, in the Handshake ecosystem. Uh, so if you ever want to get involved, you don't need to ask for anybody's permission. You don't need to ask uh, for anybody's... There's no gatekeeper. Uh, there's nobody who's going to uh, take you down for uh, trademark infringement, or um, you can use the Handshake logo freely as you want, sell Handshake merch. If you want to get involved, just get involved. Uh, but if you're looking for specific ways to do so, uh, you can visit our community landing page, uh, join the effort. Uh, and there's plenty of ways, there's plenty of suggestions uh, for specific ways to get involved here. Uh, and you can check out uh, our some of our community members um, who are already uh, making efforts uh, to help grow Handshake. Uh, one final thing is name gifting. Uh, name gifting is a great way to help outreach. You don't have to own names just to participate in name gifting. Uh, these are all names that have been uh, listed uh, to gift to um, the party. The link on the right uh, is the uh, giftee, uh, and, the, and the name on the left is the name to gift to them. Uh, and uh, you don't have to be the owner to participate in name gifting. For example, uh, NetOp Wibby, uh, he just reached out to Marcus Brownlee. He shared um, the name or community wants to give Marcus Brownlee to you. Uh, where should we send it to? Right. He doesn't own the name, uh, but he can still participate in uh, helping grow Handshake by gifting names. Cool. That about covers it. 
Uh, I covered how to use handshake names, how to access them, how to get involved. Uh, but the quick, the quickest way to uh, reach me, the best way to reach me is going to be in our Discord or uh, on Namer News. Um, so hope to see you soon. Uh, and until then, happy naming.